hello students so today in this video we will perform one activity uh, for your class 12 uh, syllabus from the class 12 syllabus that is the section b you know that two sections are there in the last video we have done one activity uh, from section a that is that was the second uh, serial number second two now uh, in this video we will perform one activity from section b uh, serial number one first experiment from section b you know six activity you have to perform three from section a and three from section b so section b the first activity is to identify a diode a led a resistor and a capacitor from a mixed collection of uh, item so a capacitor a resistor a led and a diode will be given to you in a, mi a mixed collection and you have to identify suppose you do not know which is a capacitor which is a resistor or which is a uh, your uh, uh, led and diode so what you will do you will use your uh, concepts of diode led and uh, resistor and capacitor and you will try to identify them so you know that diode means uh, uh, it will be unidirectional in forward biasing condition right so when p side is connected to positive side n side is connected to negative negative side it will be a forward bias condition in that forward bias condition you will get uh, the current right we'll check with the multimeter or ammeter that you will get a more uh, amount of current when we'll reverse the uh, diode uh, in, in uh, will change the direction right then we'll get we'll get no current that means it's a reverse bias condition like positive will be connected to negative and negative will be connected to positive of terminal of the source so there will be a reverse bias condition and in that condition there will be no current we'll get we'll check that so when out of the four samples when you'll get a situation like this then you can say that this is a diode uh, how will you identify LED? LED is a light emitting diode. So here light will glow up. It's also a diode. In one direction you will get the current will flow more and in that direction there the LED will be uh, glowing. In another direction when you will reverse the direction of the LED you will see that you, the LED will not glow. So we will also try to verify if you are getting such situation then you can say that this is LED now next come to resistor resistor will get same current in all the both the situation if we reverse the resistor also will get will be getting the same amount of current because a, a resistor uh, is not unidirectional uh, it can be used in any way the third one is the capacitor how will you identify capacitor if you do not know which is a capacitor so the cap to identify capacitor what will do uh, it will be the current will be gradually decreasing right when you will uh, when you will switch on the and when you will provide the source voltage to the capacitor you will see that the current is maximum and gradually it's decreasing because there was a potential difference between initial condition there is a potential difference between source and the, the capacitor so charge will flow towards the capacitor and there will be charging capacitor will gradually charge right so in that condition the you will get the maximum current because at that time the potential difference is more so charges will be flowing uh, will flow to the capacitor now when the capacitor will be flu fully charged you will get no current that means what that means initially you will get more current and gradually you will see that the current is decreasing now when you will switch up the source you will see that again there is the uh, reverse process that means the current uh, which you are uh, again the current will suddenly uh, your in, it will flow in the reverse direction so we'll see that and we'll verify from the experiment right uh, let us go to the activity so now we are connecting uh, the first sample uh, we will not say that it's diode resistor suppose we do not know what it is so by our from our logic from our uh, theory we'll try to find out that whether this is a diode or a resistor right we don't know what it is so what we have done this is our battery eliminator supply voltage and this is our uh, sample so we have connected here and the from the red and from the black two outputs are there right so you know in the breadboard how the lines are these are the one line means internally connected and these are 
uh, internally connected so this is from here we have taken the uh, I mean we have connected the emitter here and we'll see in both the cases that uh, by reversing the diode we'll also try to see that the current is flowing or not or what type of behavior we are getting uh, for the in the uh, we are observing in the emitter right so that from that uh, observation we'll try to conclude that whether it is a diode or a resistor or a led right uh, let us see let us see uh, we'll now switch it uh, switch the circuit on so now it's power power is on you see that uh, let me switch off again look at the look at the uh, emitter carefully now emitter needle emitter is showing some reading now again let me switch off you can see switch on current is increasing that means uh, here we can see that we are getting some current when uh, in this condition right but we do not know whether it is a diode or a resistor or a led uh, of course it's not a led because it's not glowing so it may be diode, it may be uh, a resistor so now let us change the direction change the uh, polarity of this diode and let us see that whether it's uh, we are getting the same current or not because i have told you that for resistor we should get same current in both the direction now we will connect we reverse the direction of polarity of the diode now let me again switch it on look at the ammeter whether it any deflection is there or not now you see the ammeter it's on condition power on but no current right needle is not uh, uh, it's not showing any current right so uh, from this uh, from this activity what you have observed we observed that the current is flowing in one direction and it is not glowing up so we can conclude that it can be a it is a diode now we'll go to the next sample now this one we have connected we also don't know what it is we'll try to study its behavior theory, then from the theory we'll try to say that oh, what it can be right but we can uh, say uh, from its appearance what it is but we will forget about that just think that we do not know what it is now let us uh, switch on the now its power is on we have connected the multimeter in the previous video i have shown you uh, the multimeter connection the red one this is the common one and uh, i'll show you the reading in the multimeter so the knob we are fixing it up a, at uh, around 200 milliampere now just uh, just see uh, we connected uh, both the end now circuit is closed and you see we are getting a current approximately uh, 43 44 milliampere right we are getting a current in this uh, uh, for this one so this is also we are getting a current but it can be a resistor or is it a diode let us check right because light is glowing up is it a normal diode or a led let us so it can be a led now you see when the direction is reversed we are not getting any current neither in the neither in the your multimeter nor of the uh, led is glowing up so that means uh, uh, it is a diode and it is led because light emitting diode unidirectional and also the uh, light is not glowing that means it's uh, it, it, infrared bias light was glowing so it's a led light emitting diode now we'll go to the next sample again uh, this sample is uh, we have connected with the multimeter th with this sample and you can see the current we have kept the knob again uh, with the 200 
मिली एम्पियर वी आर गेटिंग अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सेवेंटीन एटीन मिली एम्पियर करेंट नाउ विल रिवर्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रजिस्टर एंड विल सी दैट वी आर गेटिंग सेम करेंट और नो करेंट इफ नो करेंट वी आर गेटिंग दैन इट मे बी ए डायट Uh, if same current we will be getting that means uh, both the direction it's uh, not unidirectional so we'll get, be getting uh, we can say that it's can be a resistor now you see uh, it is again approximately same current we are getting approximately 18 milliampere we are getting you can see when we change the re, uh, direction or you can see change the polarity of the resistor also uh, we are getting the same current that means it's not unidirectional and it can be a it is a resistor now we'll go to the next sample now we have connected our last sample and we'll check that what it is uh, now let us uh, let, let us connect our multimeter with it and let us check that what it is the current we are getting now carefully look at the multimeter you are getting some current initially again it becomes zero right so current uh, increase high current initially we are getting high current and gradually the current reduced to zero uh, i have explained you why it is because initially there was more potential difference charges charges were flowing and uh, um, charges were flowing from charges are flowing from the source to the capacitor plates and once the charges are accumulated uh, then the capacitor is fully charged and in that condition now current will flow no charges will flow so no current is there again let us see uh, let us connect it see okay so it was not discharged it was fully charged so now let us again it's a discharging condition let us see now again you see some current was there uh, it's the discharging condition when the capacitor was fully charged it gradually Uh, decreases the current decreases to zero that means uh, it's a discharging condition initially when we switched it on it charged fully charged current becomes zero gradually again in discharging condition the charges started uh, to discharge so the current was there and gradually fully discharged condition we are getting zero current so that means it's showing the behavior of a capacitor so we can say that this is a we can say that this is a capacitor so from a mixed sample of resistor capacitor diode and led with our theoretical uh, theoretical knowledge we can uh, verify that or we can identify that what is a capacitor which is a capacitor which is a resistor and which is a uh, led and diode so this activity you can make uh, the table like this uh, you can perform that uh, you can perform the activity in your lab at your home if you have a multimeter and these components or you can perform at the lab and you can write your uh, observations what observation and why you are identifying this is a capacitor and why you are saying that this is a resistor so you can make circuit diagram and you can write your observations so this is the activity from the section b first activity uh, so let us stop here thank you